In this seven part series, I will be teaching computer programming at a very basic fundamental level. I will also not use really big words that will scare you away. My target audience are kids or people that have close to zero programming skills and want to get into programming. Um, let's see. The reason I use we we will be using Python. The reason I chose Python as the programming language to teach is because I find it to be uh, pretty intuitive, and unlike many programming language that are shown, how do I say this? Unlike many purport beginners programming language, it is actually a real programming language. It could be used to do really cool stuff. It could be used for actual application. It is being used in you know like real world uh, applications. It's being used as a real solution to stuff. So the stuff that you learn here as a beginner will be able to benefit you in the long run. And when you get really good in Python on your own, you will be able to create you know applications that you will be able to sell and make money someday. But we're going a little ahead of ourselves here. So let's start small. Let's start simple. Go to www.python.org. But you know, like if say for example this video is outdated and um, it's no longer under that URL, just go to Google and type Python programming. It's probably the first link that appears. Then the next thing you do is to click on um, the download section, and then on the right side you will be able to see a bunch of. Uh, binaries for you to download. Those are the stuff that will allow your codes to be executed. It is called script. Text that you type in a notepad that will be run or interpreted by the Python program or interpreter that you are about to download are called scripts. Right? So download those exe or uh, what is it that they have in Mac? APP, All right? Just just download whatever for your operating system. In this case, I'll be targeting. I mean, I'm using Windows, so if you're using some other operating system, you're gonna have to help yourself out a little here. So once you download it, open the command prompt by clicking. Uh, the start menu. I know Windows 8 doesn't have start menu, so I don't know how how, how does it work. That just just open the command prompt, right? So I'm, I'm using uh, Windows 7. So you know you click start and you click com type command. C O M M A N D O A N D, right? Not C M D, all right. I mean C M D is okay too, but um, C O M M A N D support uh, long. What do I say? How do I say this? It doesn't tran truncate the thing with one, you know? It doesn't use short name DOS thing. So, command is good, you know? Okay, once you've done that, open a notepad. O open notepad or any text editor and type in print hello world. Now, save that text as learn.py and save it now when it comes to windows under c drive now there is a folder called python 3.3 or python something just just save it under that folder you just created your first program now to execute that program Go to the command prompt that you opened. Type in this command to go to the root, and then typing type type in this command to go to the Python folder. CD basically means change directory. 
Now, here's the magic. Type in python space learn.py and click enter. Your first program. So I'll end it on this note. On uh, let's see. On the second part of the video, I will talk about variables and stuff. So until then, bye.